a lot of interesting games this weekend, so let's get to it. Let's start with Atlanta, Washington in Atlanta. Now, this is one of those games that really isn't that interesting. Um, I think we all know what's going to happen here. <clears throat> I have Atlanta winning, and I actually think they can win by double digits. I know Washington has a good defense, but I think Atlanta is going to find a way to win by double digits. So, I'm going to say Atlanta 12 confidence points. Pretty sure they're going to take care of business, no problem. Um, Arizona at Chicago. Like I said, Arizona so schizophrenic, but they seem good on the road this year. They seem good right after they look bad. <coughs> so I I can't feel good about any game involving the Cardinals, but I'm gonna pick them to beat the Bears one confidence point because there's no way I can have confidence in either team here because I don't know. I mean. The Bears won last week by 24 points, and it seemed like the team felt awful about it, like they were completely unimpressed by what they did. Um, Baltimore at Cincinnati, this is a good game. It has a lot of implications in the AFC North and the AFC in general. So I'm going to say Baltimore gets a little revenge for what happened a couple weeks ago. I'm going to say Baltimore four confidence points. I think they can win on the road, and get back on track, and I'm not sure when Baltimore and Pittsburgh play each other, but that's going to be fun. Um, Houston at Indianapolis. Um, a lot of people are taking Houston as an upset. I'm probably not going to pick against the Colts until they lose, until they show me that they are, you know, they have um, the ability to lose within them, <laughs> I guess, so nine confidence points in Indy. I uh, they they lost a couple guys on defense this week, which hurts, and Houston will probably score points, but um, realistically, Indianapolis, I mean, excuse me, Houston can't stop anybody. So nine confidence points there. Uh, New England, Miami in New England. Um, I think this could be a good game. Might be closer than people think, but I'm pretty confident New England will win, even if it will be close, that they're going to come out on top whatever they have to do. I think it'll be close, but I think New England will win 10 confidence points in them taking care of business. Um, Green Bay at Tampa Bay. Green Bay is probably the best team in the league when it comes to beating up on terrible teams, and Tampa Bay is probably the worst team in the league right now, so 13 confidence points <coughs> Excuse me, in Green Bay. Um, Kansas City at Jacksonville. Uh, th this isn't appealing whatsoever, but um, I, I guess I'm going to go with Jacksonville. I, I guess it's on the road. Kansas City's won one game this year. I know Jacksonville's bad, but I think they're actually somehow a lot better than Kansas City, and that sounds weird to say, but I guess they are. So three confidence points in Jacksonville. Um, Carolina at New Orleans. I... I thought about the upset here for a brief second, but um, I see all the confidence from the um, Carolina fans, and I don't know where you get it from, but more power to you, I guess. So anyway, I am going to go with eight confidence points in the Saints. I, I just don't see how your defense is going to be able to stop the Saints. Nobody has stopped the Saints this year except, well, I guess actually nobody. Nobody has stopped the Saints' offense this year. I don't see why Carolina should be able to do it. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm, I'm not sold. Um, Detroit at Seattle, 11 confidence points in us taking care of business. Um, that seems like a lot of points, but really a lot of the matchups this week are not decisive. Um, San Diego at the New York Giants. I think it's time for the Giants to wake up. I don't think the Chargers are very good, so I think the Giants will find a way to exploit some weaknesses and get off the snide. Seven confidence points in the Giants. It, it's about time for them to, if not turn it around, at least win a game, and I think they'll take care of it. <coughs> um, Tennessee at San Francisco. You know, the Vince Young thing, it, it did kind of occur to me that Hey, you know, this um, this could change things a little bit, and I, I did think about it, but 
I think Frisco has a good defense. They can probably force Vince Young into a couple turnovers. And right now the um, Titans defense is awful. So I'm going to say San Francisco wins. Six confidence points in that. It, it's in San Francisco too, so that should have an effect. Um, let's see, we got Dallas at Philly. I, I think we're due for a Tony Romo uh, fuck-up game where he just craps the bed. I think we're due for a Dallas letdown, and this seems like a good time for it to happen against a division rival in Philly. Yeah, I'm going to say five confidence points in the Eagles beating the Cowboys. And finally, we got our Monday night game, Pittsburgh going to Denver. Um, a couple red flags for Pittsburgh over the last week. They got some players on defense who aren't going to be there. Offensive line players not playing. Denver's coming off an embarrassing loss. They got to get back on track. They got home field. I'm going to say they take care of it. I'm going to say two confidence points because Pittsburgh has won four in a row. And it seems like they find, they've been finding ways to win games lately with the big plays at the very end. But... I think Denver's the better team, so that's where I'm going. Um, that's all the games for this week, so we'll see how I do. I hope you guys have fun watching football tomorrow. I know I will, and see you guys later.